there are a few different ways you can share your workspace with others. In the web application, you can select the workspace and click Share Workspace. Or you can click the drop down menu next to the workspace and click Share. The option to share a workspace will only be available to owners or designated administrators of the workspace. You will have the option to add the user as a contributor or visitor. Contributors have the ability to upload content in the workspace, while default visitors are strictly consumers of the content. Once you click Share, the users will receive an email notification with a secure link to the workspace. This action can be performed from the desktop as well. Open up your sync folder and right click on the workspace you would like to share. Click on the Watchdocs logo and select Share Workspace. A window will pop up where you can input the email address of the users you would like to share with. Again, select whether they will be a default visitor or contributor and click Share. If you would like to see who you've shared the workspace with, click on the Permissions tab on the right side of the page within the workspace. Here you can see all of your groups, including your default visitors and contributors. You can see at a glance how many members each group has and what permissions they have to the workspace. To see the members of a group, click the group name. In addition to your default visitor and contributor groups, workspace administrators can create additional custom groups. To do so, click New Group and type in the name of your group. You can add users by email address or distribution list. If you are utilizing our Active Directory integration, you can use this to create a group. Additionally, you can add a group by email domain. Here you can set the permissions for your group. You can set the role as visitor or contributor, you can set the permission level as full access, online and offline tracked access, or online only tracked access. You can set other specific permissions such as the ability to edit, print, or copy and paste from the document. You can disable download altogether by selecting online only tracked access, meaning your users can only view the document in the online viewer. You can also choose to include a watermark and whether to set a file expiration date. Once complete, Click Add. You can change group permissions at any time by selecting the group and clicking the Edit icon. You can also very easily add and remove users from a group.